Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Catherine Raker and we are in the Chef You and I show and we're in Cary, Illinois and we're at Tapas Calpe yep. with Nick DeMonico. DeMonico and Bill McHenry of Widgeteer and Bellari. Um, I wanted to do something from Spain because, you know, I lived in Spain for over three years and we haven't done a Spanish cooking show. So I'm really excited that Bill invited me and you invited me to come up and do our chef show on location at your restaurant and you have a wonderful gorgeous butcher butchery is that what you call it yeah it's a butcher shop and butcher shop? i'm the third generation in my wow. family wow. and uh, my son works with us he'll be our fourth generation right i hear you even are a musician as well well yeah that's we don't need to talk that about that great <laughs> because a Spanish restaurant yeah. has music, and you have to have great uh, cookware in a Spanish That's restaurant. That's correct, Catherine. So tell me a little bit about Widgeteer and what Filaria does. Widgeteer is a, uh, a company we sell across the United States and North America, and the cookware that we're going to demonstrate today is from Valeri. Uh, out of uh, Barcelona, Spain, and I think you'll find that the cookware is absolutely amazing. I know Nick has used it oh, yeah. in his restaurant for quite a while, and he's been really pleased with it. So. Right, and I'm really excited about that because, you know, the hard part about cooking is if you don't have the best um, cookware to work with, it can be tedious, heavy, and when you're in a restaurant situation, you need to get things done really quick, right? Yeah, when we started using the cookware, our chef was really uh, impressed and it works. Yeah, it's very right. efficient and uh, it's very easy to clean, right. very easy to use light, right. light uh, pans. and. Right. The best response from our retailers, from our retail customers around the United States is they've just been thrilled with it and you'll start seeing it in all sorts of retail stores in the United States real soon. Well, that's great. And we're going to cook with it in just a second. Yeah. And we're going to get to see your whole uh, operation, right? Yeah, we're going to do some of our favorite uh, dishes, dishes. In, the, in the restaurant. Can you tell us where your location is? So when we come to Chicago, where can we go? Yeah, we're in the northwest suburbs of Chicago in um, up towards uh, Route 14, and it's on uh, 133 West Main, Cary, Illinois, right. which is about 60 miles from Chicago. Right. And on that note, we're going to go in and we're going to start cooking. Okay. And I was lucky enough that Bill invited me last night to see the beautiful pans, to see everything that we're doing, and we had everything that we're going to show our audience how to actually create it and make it. Okay? okay. Yes. And thank you so very much for inviting us to thank come you. and do this on location. Thank you. We'll be right back after these messages on The Chef You and I. We're back on The Chef You and I with Nick Delmonico and Bill McHenry. And Nick owns this wonderful, uh, beautiful butcher shop and uh, restaurant yes. and winery. Yes. All in one. Yep. And you call it what? Tapas Calpe. And the name is from an um, area I go in Spain. My father-in-law used to live out there. Right. So I got the inspiration to set up the tapas restaurant inside right. our butcher shop. Which is smart. Yeah. How long did it take you to do this, by the way? To, to, to create the whole atmosphere. It was a kind of a gradual thing. As uh -huh. I was out there, I would think, like, this would be neat in my store when right. I'm sitting in a tapas place. and. Right. And in Spain, it's very informal, like our restaurant is, right. and they do have tapas bars in a lot of weird places. And <laughs> the I think, caves, yeah, right. well, I think a, a butcher shop's a perfect place right. for a, a restaurant. Right. You know, I agree. And, and, uh, and you know, it's really funny because you're way ahead of your time. This is just becoming a trend now, all over the country. But I told you that I went to Canada a yeah. few years ago, and they did this, yeah, yeah. which I thought was a really good idea. Now, Bill, you have actually um, are uh, a company that does wonderful pans and all kinds of different products. We do. 
And you sell to retailers? Retailers and also restaurateurs around the United States and North America. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you when did you find these beautiful pants? Tell me about that story. Well, you know, I uh, met the Valera people actually about a year and a half ago, Catherine. Okay. And uh, we finally came to an agreement where Widgeteer has the, the exclusive rights to market and sell the, pan, the cookware and all their other products throughout North America. Right. Uh, we launched the products at the Housewares show in Chicago, actually, in March of this year. And the response has been just amazing on the pans. We're going to be in a couple major retailers real soon right. uh, and, and spread it around. And what's been so fun, of course, my wife Nancy and I love coming here to Nick's restaurant eating. But I was telling Nick about them uh, a while ago, and mm -hmm. he was just thrilled by the way they, they work. And, and uh, his chef is really jazzed by them. So it's been really fun. It's, and I love cooking, so it's, it's been cool. Well, it's always good when you love cooking, right? Because yeah. The pants are so important to you, I and mean, I was telling you that I've had a set of pants for almost 35 years. And We're so, going to replace those with these. Yeah, thank God, because I really <laughs> need that. And my birthday's coming up, too, wow, so that's, that's really a great important. great question. Yeah. I, I want to show the pants, actually. And uh, Nick, where are we going to start? Well, which pan today, are we going to use first? We're going to start with this pan here, which is the roast vegetables. And uh -huh. It's got nice ridges that give the nice kind of lines to the vegetables. That's and, important. Yeah, and it it's a very good pan to, to do the roasted vegetables. Okay, in. and then what are we going to make? Uh, we're going to do the shrimp down on the end. That's a great Point little sauté pan. Okay. Yeah, and uh, the thing about it is that they're how they don't stick uh, to you know with the, the food, and uh, we don't have to use as much oil. Right. And, um, so that's healthier. Yeah, yeah. Healthier cooking. That's important. It really is. Okay, important. so then what's the next dish and what's the next pan? The top is steak, which is this uh, pan here, which right. we pan sear the steak. And then we uh, pop a, a stuffed pepper in the oven on the side with that. That's a very popular but dish. But you also have something really neat in the pepper. What do you put in there? It's a Spanish cheese. cheese. It's a tortilla cheese, which is a cow's milk. Very soft cheese and right. it melts real nice. So right. yeah, and it's I very that, good. I had that yesterday and it was so delicious. And we put it over a, a chimichurri sauce over right. the top. So and it's very, very, very tasty. Good. Thank you. Okay. Now the what? interesting thing about that pan uh -huh. too is that it's actually a sloped pan, which is a new right. innovation by right. Valera. Right. It's patented around the world. And you can see a slope in the center, so when Nick's chef and Nick and the chef cook, the oils and the liquids will roll away from the food as right. you're cooking it. Right, and that's so important when you're doing something. And it, I love the feel of the inside of the pans and the, mm -hmm. how light they are. And yeah. that's really important. Yeah. They're especially, easy to handle. Yeah. Especially, you Well, know, like when he's doing paella, to right. flip that, okay. you know, flip the paella yeah. a little bit, right. that's a great pan. It's very light. Right. I can imagine doing stir fry or anything yeah, in here. Any, yeah, yeah, any kind of stir fry. Okay, so what that. else are we doing? We're well, doing we have the in there. this else? here. We do it. We're having our ribs, which we okay. pre-do in our smoker, okay. and then the chef will cut them, portion them out, right. and heat them up on this pan. In the oven. Yeah, it puts it right in the oven and, with and, the sauce. And homemade that's what sauce. I love about these handles is that you can put these handles in the oven without worrying yeah. about. Them melting or anything right, else, exactly. right? And that's what's really important. So, you know, how do people actually able to find out more information on the pans, Bill? You can go to our website at widgeteerinc.com. We also have a catalog online, which is widgeteerinc.net. Uh, and you'll see the pans real soon uh, online at several retailers around the country uh, and, and in stores real quick, too, by the end of the year. Okay. And thank you so much. Thank you. And now, Nick, where can people find you? Do you have a website or Facebook? Yeah, we do. Uh, our restaurant is under Tapas Calpe of Cary. Uh, Calpe spelled C-A-L-P-E of Cary uh, at yahoo.com. Okay. And okay. we have a lot of a nice website and information about the restaurant and the butcher shop. Now, do you have a new Facebook at all? Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, my son does that. I'm not really <laughs> sure about you know, I, I'm busy in here, so well, I'm, you know. But, you know, that social media is important, especially yeah, I know. for young millenniums and all the other generations. And That all passed me by, right, though, right. you know. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. So, and then you also have a variety of wines that are oh, yeah. behind me. Yeah. And then we'll we'll take a little picture over there of all your wines that you have. And, and I think our camera guy already got the butcher shop, yeah. which is really important because mm -hmm. without that great meat, yeah. 
you know. Yeah, we have unlimited access to all kinds of meats, which right. is really, it's like a, our own little market there for us to, right. whatever specials we put Would on the board. to people too? Uh, no, it's, it's there's a, a lot hard. of regulations to that. And yeah. Uh, so, okay. yeah. Right. Food is a tough thing to ship around. Right. But we have, like, today I'm going to recommend certain wines as we see them, the you different. know, as the, the meal, the, okay. the, the different the foods. Down. We're going to sit down and we're going to try that. How about okay, that? that's okay. great. So th our next thing is to go back and meet uh, Chef Jose, who I've already yes. met, and Chef Kelsey. Yes. Right, she's your... Um, sous chef. Sous chef. Yes. So we're going to be working with both of them. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the roasted vegetables. Yes. You changed it around for me a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Well, we changed no. it back for you. Okay. And we'll be right back on Catherine Rakers, The Chef You and I. And don't forget to go to our website at thechefyouandi.com. We'll be right back. Uh, hello. Uh, yes. Can I ask a few questions about the apartment on Park Street? What was your name? My name. Uh, my name is Juan Hernandez. It's been rented. Oh, it's gone. Hello. My name is Sanjay Kumar. I am calling about the apartment on Park Street. It's not available. Not available. Hello. My name is Tyrone Washington. I'm calling about the apartment on Park Street. Just been rented. Hello, I am Chen Ling. My name is Khalid Bin Ali. I'm Tuan Vo. Hello, my name is Moshe Goldberg. I use a wheelchair. It's gone. Not available. All right. Thank you. Yes, hello, my name is Graham Wellington. I'm calling about the apartment for rent on Park Street. Is that still available? Yes, it is. Oh, it is? Yes. Really? Housing discrimination is illegal. If you think you've been a victim because of your race, color, national origin, sex, religion, disability, or family status, call us. Fair housing. It's not an option. It's the law. We're back on The Chef, you and I, with the two chefs. And we have the sous chef, Kelsey, and your last name, Fishburne. Fishburne. And Jose Lopez, correct? Correct. Como estas? Bien, gracias. Oh, bien, gracias. Anyhow, um, this is your kitchen, right? Yes. And it's really very, very nice, even though it's a galley kitchen. We're going to be preparing with Valera pans, right? And the first thing that we're going to do is what, Jose? Are we going to do a vegetable plate? It's right here? It's right here. Okay. Can we put that on camera? Let's just do this. Look at how beautiful that is. That's gorgeous. So tell us what's on the plate. Kelsey. Kelsey. You can part cook them a little bit, or you can do it raw. Right. And just put a little grill mark on here. Right. Um, just with a little bit of olive oil. Uh huh. And some seasoning. Okay. We have a little bit of red pepper flakes. Okay. Already on there. Salt, pepper. Okay. All right. So. We're going to do it. So you're just going to show me, right? Yeah. Okay, so you want to give this to me? Sure. Okay, now do you just put them in individually? Is that what you're going to do, like that? Yeah, sure. You can do that okay. if you want a nice right. grill mark on there. Yeah, you want grill marks, right? And Jose? Yes. Let me ask you, um, how long do you marinate each one of these? Am I doing this right? Yes, you're doing okay. it right. Can I, can I do it like this, too? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you you can marinate for about... One hour at a time. For how long? For one hour. For about a, an hour for, for each hour. one of them. We have zucchini yes. here, right? And we have zucchini, and then we have it looks red like peppers. red peppers, carrots, and carrots. And now, mushrooms. are these sautéed? Oh, no, these are just marinated. So, yes. actually, they feel almost like they're already done, kind of because of the way you marinate them. Am I right? Yeah. Yes, they okay. get softer when you marinate them. And then you marinate them. So, and the carrots have a little bit of rosemary. Am I doing this right? You do. Do doing it right. fine? Okay, Just move fine. that over a little. And I love the plates that you have. These are really, let me show these. These are beautiful. Um, that's really nice. So you have these gorgeous Valera pans. And I like this pan because it's got ridges in it. So it yes. makes the grill marks look really nice. And that's what yeah. the most important part about doing plating or anything else. Am I right? Grill marks right. are great, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, anyhow, so how long are we going to leave this on there? You're going to leave it for about two minutes in there. Okay, okay. And each side, then you can turn it over. Okay. Let's just move this. We can go up a little higher on the fire. Okay. Okay. 
the nice marks. So, Jose, how long have you been making this recipe? About three years. Three years? Yes. And customers really, really like this, don't they? Yes, they do. We have a lot of compliments about our vegetable thing. Right. Now, when you're doing your tapas, um, this would be considered a tapa? Yes. Yes. This would be like a first course, right? First course. First course. Sorry. And those look beautiful. And it's easy and it's healthy and different right. from you got to come over here, Kelsey, so we can see you. It's healthier for you, right? Yeah. And it just makes it much better for you. I mean, I can see that there's very few calories in here. And you can do any kind of vegetable. Right, that you want to. So they're about done, right? Yes, they're almost about done. Like We're going to wait like a minute. Okay. And uh, in a regular pan, it will take like 10 minutes. Right, but this, no. No, it gets too hot, so right. it's good. So how high does it actually get um, cooking-wise? Around 500 degrees? Like around 500 degrees, I would say it gets that right. hot. Right, right. And I use at home, which I love gas. Gas is such a nice way to cook, right? That's because good. it cooks evenly as well. But you can do it on electric as well. So this is really simple. So you marinate, you cut them up first, then you marinate them in a marinade. Now, can you give us your secret recipe on the marinade? What is it? It's so simple, they can do it at home. Okay. Okay, they just can do it salt, pepper, and garlic. Right. As you know, because I'm allergic to garlic, to garlic. as you know, we so didn't we don't, use we don't garlic use it. today, right? And when you do the marinade with olive oil, right. then you put them in a container and you close it like with plastic right. and leave them in the cooler right. for about an hour. Or the refrigerator. In the refrigerator. Right. And that's part of the recipe. This is great. Okay, let's see you plate it So now. this... We have an uh, aioli. Now tell us a little bit about this. Usually we do a roasted garlic aioli. Okay. Um, today we've got a sage aioli because you don't. Okay, because I'm garlic. allergic to garlic, so um, we use sage. Still delicious. Uh huh. And um, we make our aioli in house, and this is just a little fried right. sage leaf. Okay. And okay, and then what we're going to do is he's plating all the vegetables right now, and then we're going to serve it with that. Yep. Correct. And it's just a it's little. It's like a dip. Yep. Okay, that's great. And, and is aioli hard to make? No. So what is it? It's just egg, egg yolk, uh -huh. oil, uh -huh. and then you can pretty much add anything you want. So. Okay, that's great. And you whip it up. Yep. Right. That's what you do. So look at how pretty this is. This is beautiful. I love this all the This is so colors. beautiful. And what the pan, pan does, uh -huh. if you can see it, they be on this side. Right. We had it for four minutes and already have the marks, and you can right. have a vegetable meal with right. five minutes that you can do it in this beautiful. kind of pants. And you know that, you know, on a grill, you'd have to put it on a grill and then it would take 10 or 15 minutes to do it. Right? Oh, look at how pretty that is. Look at all the colors. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I love the peppers. They are so good. Thank you. That summer squash is from my garden. It is? Really? Yeah. Awesome. That's great. And you know, I'm doing a lot of stuff from the garden right now, especially because this is it's really healthy for you. So that's the reason why I loved, I lived in Spain for almost three years in Madrid, and I love going to the tapa bars and to, and I learned to cook all these things. So this is so things. vegetable plate. Let's look at how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? That is absolutely gorgeous. And that was so simple to do. And you can see the marks from the pan, the Valera pan. And it did such a great job. So thank you. So we're gonna we're gonna serve this in a little while. So we're gonna put this okay. over there. Okay. And the best thing of this that you don't need to wash right. this pan at right. all. You just can wipe it. Right. It's almost got the feel almost of. Um, and it's ready to use the game. Wow, that's beautiful. Really oh. simple. And you know what I love about the pan is the handle. Yes. You can easy and so easy to lift it. Right. Really nice. So what are we going to do next? We're going to make the shrimp next, okay? We need to take a short break just for a minute, and we'll be right back on The Chef, You and I.
How do you convince a 14-year-old girl that hair doesn't matter? When the diagnosis is childhood cancer, where can parents turn? CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. you and I with Jose Lopez and Kelsey Fishburne. Yep. And what we're doing next is we're doing a shrimp dish. And what's the name of it, um, Jose? The, the name of the shrimp is a uh, spicy shrimp. Spicy shrimp. Now, and garlic. You're, and you're going to let me do this, oh, yes. right? Okay, so if you, we're going to, the first thing what we're going to do is we want to heat the pan up, right? And it's pretty hot, right? It's pretty hot. Okay, now can you hand me that oil? I think that's what you told me to do. Yes. Right? Just put a How little, much oil do you want me to put in there? Just put a little drop. This just pan a, doesn't need... That's it? A little bit. A little touch. A little bit more. Okay. All right. Is that right? Is that right? Okay. okay. So you want to see how much that is. That's very little. Very now, now little. the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put little our spices it. on. Spices. So Understood. I want it, I want the camera guy to see this, what we're doing here. So we're going to take and we're going to put a few spices right on the um, on the shrimp. Am I right? You're right. Okay, and then what's this? Uh, that's a smoky paprika. Okay, we're just going to use a little of that on there, right? Is yes. that enough? Yeah, that's enough. You can okay. flip turn, it it all, over. turn it over okay. and put a, a little more in that okay. side. Okay, all right. That's beautiful. And then beautiful. you can... Get a little, a little of this? A little bit of that. Now what's this in here? What are these? Salt that's and pepper salt, and what else? Salt, pepper. Right? That's what it is, salt and pepper. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shrimp in now. Yes. All right. So, I'm going to put the shrimp in, right? And it's a pretty hot pan, right? It is. Okay. You can hear it sizzle. And then, when do I put that on? After you stir the shrimps a little bit. Right. Uh, we use garlic for that. Okay. Because we're allergic to it. Because I'm allergic, we're not we using don't it use today, it. right? So you just move it a little bit. Okay, and do you have this? We can turn them? Yes. Now I turn them now? You can feel right. them. Like that? Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at how beautiful that is. So simple. These are really simple recipes. This is great. Now, when do I put that on? Now, you can put the... the per now, this is... Uh, chili flakes. These are chili flakes, Just to make right? a little spicy. Right, right. And then you're going to use lemon, right? Lemon. Lemon. I got that correct. Yeah, correct. Correct. I love to use lemon on just put now. A little, yes. Just a little. Get all over. Ooh, that's beautiful. And are you going to use a little wine? A little Ooh, wine. I love this. This is beautiful. Wine. So you're turning it down a little when bit. When you're going to use right. wine, you need to move, uh, move it. a little the, from the fire right. to this one. And then just put it on top of it. Beautiful. And why wouldn't you want to do it on the heat? Tell, tell uh, her. It will cause the flame. Right, because it'll go really high, right. And you don't want that to happen, correct? No, okay, so now can I turn them over? Yes, you can. Okay. Ooh, look at how beautiful that is. They're already done, right? It's when they done. get a little pink? Yes. That's when they when they actually become, okay. Did and then we'd want to put... Whipping cream? Oh, whipping cream, wonderful. How much do I put? Is you that can good? use like a half a cup. Oh, half a cup, the whole thing? Am I a little more. A little You're bit fine, more? Am I yes. fine? Oh, does that look beautiful? Oh my goodness. Look and at how we gorgeous just wait. that is. Okay, look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Now, how long do they stay in the cream? They stay like three minutes in there. Three minutes. Turn them over. Yes, right. turn them over. And then you can pick them up. Like, pick them up? Yes, like this. Can you uh, show me. So they can get the heat on this part. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. And this part over here, so they can okay. start cooking from there. Oh, that's beautiful. Poaches it a little bit. Okay, that's that's beautiful. Now I had these last night. This is one of my favorites. I love it, but I love shrimp, right? So Kelsey, we're gonna get the plate so that we can plate it because it's almost done, right? Yes. Yeah, kind of. Conge does it congeal a little bit, Jose, where it gets thicker, right? Yes, once it starts getting thicker, so you can put your sauce on it. Right. That's going to be your sauce for the shrimp. That's going to be the sauce for the shrimp. So yes. we're going to plate it and then pour it on top of it. Is that what we're going to do? Yes. Okay. So she's going to get the plate, and we're going to do this in just a second. So this is a, a Valera pan, and it's from Spain, and it's from northern Spain. 
near Barcelona. And um, so we're doing this beautiful shrimp uh, with a reduction sauce on top of it. And so it has wine in it. It has all these wonderful ingredients and it just, it just blends together, doesn't it? It does, and it's healthy. It right. doesn't have any oils. Right. And, and it's very simple to make. Right. So this looks like it's maybe, 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 maybe 200 calories, maybe three at the most. Okay, and like so 300. 300 oh. calories. Okay, so do you have your, your plated dish for us? Yes, we do. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Can you bring it over? Look at how pretty this is. Now this is aioli, right? Yep, that's our okay. sage so let's see you again. let's see you plate it, Kelsey. All right. Okay? We're going to stand out and let you do it. I'll just do it right here. Okay. So you can do a zigzag pattern. I like that. That's what, it's nice being a chef. You get to do these artistic, creative, beautiful things to make yes. people really excited when they see what you're doing. Correct? We love squeeze bottles, too. Uh-huh. Now what are you gonna? You're gonna actually pour the sauce on top of it, right? Yeah. Okay. Kind of let it concentrate a little bit more. Usually, right. But I think right. Awesome. This looks beautiful. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay. Yes. Now this would be our second course for our tapas, right? Yeah. Okay. So you don't even really use that much cream. Just you don't use that bit. much cream, just a little bit, just a little to, bit to poach it, and then a little right. bit more on top to dress it. And okay, can I show this now? Yeah. Okay. Look at how beautiful this is. Very simple. You can do this in your own kitchen really easily, and absolutely a gorgeous um, starter. Tapas. That's what tapas mean. A starter. Okay. And that's really nice. Or hors d'oeuvre kind of thing like that. Okay. And we'll be right back on the Chef You and I after these messages. Don't forget to go to our website at thechefyouandi.com. We'll be right back. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey. Where have you been? I lost my cat. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, so I made this cat magnet to try and get it back. Cool. Does it work? Kinda. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but that's not my cat. Gotta keep working on it. See ya. See ya. Anything's possible. Keep thinking. Get started on your own inventions or just play some games at inventnow.org. Tapas steak. Okay, so this pan is very unusual, right? It is. Because it really sears the steak, right? It does. And it cooks evenly, would you say? It does. It does. But what we're going to do that's a little different with this is we're going to put the oil on the steak. Yes. And we're going to show how the pan works and how everything works, right? So you tell me how much. Is that enough? That's enough. Okay, do I do it on both sides? Yes. Okay. And then you're gonna season and just take. Okay, with this? No. No, with something different. We're not gonna use cream, are we? No. We're gonna. How about Kelsey. some pepper? A little cracked pepper. 
You want cracked pepper? Okay, a little salt. We just I got already salt did and that. Pepper. Okay, and and what's really nice about this, um, this is that the cheese is going to melt, right? Yes, it does. And we're going to do that in a minute. But we're going to do the we're going to do the steak first, right? Oh, I want to put a little bit of salt on that. Look at that! Isn't that fun? Okay, now let's do that. All right. So, how long does it take on each side, Jose? It takes like two. Two and a half minutes on each side. Right, because you want it a little rare when you cut it, right? Yes. And um, this would feed, you know, when, when you're doing the tapas, you share the tapas, right? Usually yes, when does. you're your girlfriend or somebody else. So um, tapas are kind of like hors d'oeuvres, wouldn't mm -hmm. you say? Yes. Right. But it's the Spanish version of it, right? And uh, Hemingway, I don't know if you knew this or not, Hemingway went to Spain and made this really famous. Did you know that? Okay. Oh, yes. You did. Now see how the the oil kind of moves around. That's really cool, right? See, whatever the oil you put in there, it start running to the sides already. Right. So it's so it's really a healthy it's a really healthy way to cook as well because it it takes away that oil but it sears it into the steak. Am I right? You're right. Right. Don't you love cooking? I do. How long have you been doing this? Uh, Twenty five years. Twenty five years. Do you know, I started, I'm going to be turning 70 in September, and I started when I was seven. Oh. And so when you have a big family of five brothers and one sister, if you don't learn how to cook, you'll never get to eat. I'm telling you. Right? That's right. Right. So are you from a big family? Yes, I am. How many? Ten. Ten. See, I knew that. Kelsey, how many kids are in your family? I have two brothers. Two brothers? And you're the sister? Is that right? Yeah. Am I doing this right. correct? You're right. Okay. So you just let them like a minute, uh -huh. call it. Okay. And then you stir it up for another minute and you're going to have like a rare steak. A rare steak. Yes. Okay. And you don't want to get it too done because this type of a steak would be tough. It right? would too tough and dry. Dry. And you don't want that. You want to seal those juices in, right? Okay. Now when are we going to put this in? When we put it in the oven? We're going to use the pepper right here, right? It's up there like the steak is like almost done. This is gonna right. take almost like 20 seconds. Right. Uh, and the oven. In the oven. So you just can put this, the, the, the piquillo the pepper, pepper with, with the, the, the tilla cheese. Right. On the grill right here. Uh-huh, in and the we're oven. And put them in the oven. So you really don't have to have more than one pan, right? No, that makes that's it the, really that's nice. the same pan you can use. Okay, one more time. And then we put it in there now? Yes. You think good? Rare, Good. you want it rare? Rare, okay, and then we put this on top of here, right? Yes. And then we turn this off, right? Okay, and then we're going to put this in the oven. It's a little hot. Okay, put that in the oven. And how long do you keep that in the oven, Jose? Like 20, 30 seconds. 20, 30 seconds, just so the cheese melts, it Melts right? a little bit, yes. A little bit, okay. And then we're going to plate it. You're going to plate it, that's beautiful. So we're done with this, right? We're done with yes. this, and we'll move this over here. Right? Okay. This is simple. Everybody can do this. Now, what is this? This is the chimichurri. It's made of cilantro. Cilantro, my favorite. I love cilantro. Uh, parsley. Parsley. Lemon. Lemon. And a little bit of honey. Honey? Yes. Okay. And salt and pepper. Right. Simple ingredients simple that you ingredients. can find, you can, you you can can do find everywhere. Everywhere and do it okay. at home. All right. And so, cilantro is really, really good for you. It, it is. It is. And it's very... So now how are you going to plate it? Let's show this. Let the camera see this. Go yeah. ahead, Kelsey. Do you want to make... Yeah. Can you do this before or after you put the steak on there? Right. Same thing with the aioli. You can be creative. Okay. Or you can just do like a nice little zigzag. Isn't that fun? Yeah. That's beautiful. And it's like a little sauce with your top right. of steak. All right, so we're going to take the steak out of the oven and we're going to plate it, right? Yeah. So let's yes. do this. Let's take this over here, pardon me. And then we're going to take this. Ooh, that's beautiful, Jose. That's gorgeous. Nice. Okay, so we just need the little thing that we can pick it up with. And so you want to put it on the plate for me? Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Right. 
Is that gorgeous or what? Then you just put a little on top of the steak. Just put a little bit on the top of the steak, and you've got it made in the shade. That's absolutely and gorgeous. We're put a you can bit make this at home. See home. how great this is, and so how easy this is too. Beautiful. All right, so that's our that's our third dish. Now we're going to take the pan and we're going to wipe it off, and we're going to be done with that. Isn't that right? That's Look at right. how easy so that this is. So easy to clean. Oh wow. And you're ready to go again, right? It's ready to go to do another order. Uh, now, let me ask you a question. Yesterday, apparently, you only had to use two pans for the restaurant? Yes, normally I use like 20 in a period of time of one hour. Right. And so I there's a lot of people doing dishes all the time, all right? All the time, all the time. And yesterday, I used those two pans. And after I do one order, clean it off. I clean it off. Start and over the again. best thing of that, that my pan still was hot right. to do the next order. Right. So that give me like three minutes extra. Uh, extra for each dish. And I recommend this pan to do that. Because it makes it so much simpler for you. So it, you don't have to be a chef. You can be a, a home cook and do it really quick because we're oh, all yes. really busy today, right? Yes, and home you simple. just can wipe it right. up. Right. And... Your wife will be happy, your girlfriend, your friends, right. not to do any dishes Or you, anymore. or you personally, because, you know, now let me ask this question. Uh, who cooks at your house? I do. You do. You do. Right. And Kelsey, do you? My boyfriend's a chef. Oh, your boyfriend's a chef, so it makes it easy. So we'll be right back after these messages, and these beautiful pans are from compliments of Valera, right? Valera. And the restaurant name here is... Tapas Calpe. Tapas Calpe. We'll be right back on the Chef You and I after these messages. What is your problem, man? You're welcome. What the heck is wrong with you? What do you mean? Don't give me that! All right. What's going on here, fellas? The missile was about to hit the school. I just acted as fast as I could. That doesn't change the fact that I don't have a car anymore. Who just throws a person's car at a missile? You're serious? Yeah. Who's going to pay for my car? I guess I could. Do you even have a real job? Yes. Do you have insurance? I saw the whole thing. Call me. We're back on the Chef You and I, and Kelsey, you're going to get to do the honors for the barbecued ribs. Now, you told me before in the break that they're smoked in the yeah. butcher shop? Since we're a butcher shop, um, we do smoked ribs ahead of time that you can purchase at our butcher, and we okay. also sell as a tapas dish. Okay, so we actually put the the ribs, actually, we heated them up for a little while, right? Yes. And now we're basting them, so they're smoked first, and yeah. then all you have to do at home is what, Jose? Just to warm it up. Just what if you want to use one of these pans? Right. Um, a Valera. A Valera. It's a flat pan, right? It's a flat pan. Uh, normally, I used uh, for tapas dish ten minutes in the oven. Right. But since I had this pan yesterday, it did the same job of the oven. You just put a five minutes on one side and five minutes on the other mm -hmm. side. And you don't have to use the oven. And you don't have to use the oven. They're Which ready is to great. go. And then you put a temperature gauge in it, and what yes. happened? What happened? Um, it went to 160 degrees, wow. so it was ready to serve. It was ready to serve. So now we're going to put that on there, am I correct? Yes. Okay. Do that for a minute. All right. And that's how you do it. You do that for five or ten minutes on each side, yeah. and then you flip it. So we've already heated it ahead of time. We're, you know, this is the wonderful thing about um, television, so you can flip it now. Yeah. Okay? Because it's warm. We know it is. All right. Now you can see how... Now you can hear that searing, right? Yes. 
Okay. Sauce, concentrate a little right. bit. Right. Right. And this is our in-house barbecue sauce. Right. Can you buy this? This barbecue sauce? No. It's You're our, not marketing your barbecue sauce yet. It's our. You need to do that. It's our secret. Okay. Recipe. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. Secret recipe. Well, see, you can sell it in a jar. We can we're gonna do have that. To, we're going to have to tell Nick that he's got to do that. Is that a good idea? Okay, now we're going to, you're going to actually put more barbecue sauce on it. Yeah, just finish it off right? a little more. That's beautiful. And now you're going to plate that, right? Yep. Okay, let's plate that, Kelsey. And, you know, the nice thing about uh, doing this, it's, it's really, we were doing five or six entrees or tapas or hors d'oeuvres really quickly and you can do this at home and you saw how easy that it, this is and you could actually do it with one or two pans or whatever and make it look gorgeous just like the restaurant okay let's look at this you have and a now spoon, what we're doing is we are going to actually put this into a little beautiful dish and we're going to serve that with the barbecue and we're going to show you the plating in just a second and this is just so fun. So this is our barbecue sauce. Okay, this is a barbecue sauce. And we just finish it off with a little bit of herbs. This can I have this? Parsley. Okay, so you can see how beautiful that is. And this is so And then good. that goes with that. So that, that goes with that? There. Right. Okay. We'll get a couple of pictures for our website, which is really nice. And how long did that take us to do? Five or ten minutes? Yes, like 10 minutes. Right. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back, and we're going to do paella. Oh, yes. All right. We'll be right back on Catherine Riggers, The Chef You and I. We're back on The Chef You and I with Jose Lopez and Kelsey. Kelsey Fishburn. And now we're going to do a challenge, and I love this because I used to eat paella in Spain all the time. I made it two or three times, but they do it a little bit different, and so we're going to make an easy way of making paella. How long does it usually take, Jose, to make paella? Uh, usually takes uh, from 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Uh, normally. Normally. Right. That, that's what I've been doing uh, for three years. I'm, I'm here in this right. uh, restaurant. Right. And uh, you're going to see it. I tried it yesterday. And what I figured out, that it's going to take me between 10 to 15 minutes. So that saved me. Like oh 10 gosh. time, 10 right. minutes to right. do the paella with the new pen that I have right now. Okay. Let's tr let's teach me how to do it. Let's, okay. What's the first thing I need to do? The first thing you need to do is get your pan hot. Get your pan hot. Right. And the best thing of this is that I'm used to grab towels all the time. I, I am really a grabber towel or two. But this handle doesn't get hot. Let me feel it. Oh, you're right. It doesn't get hot at all. That's beautiful. Right, right here is where you hold it, though, more so yes. than down here. Okay. So what's the first thing I need the to do? The first thing you need to do... Put a little oil in there? Put a little oil. Okay. Is that enough? You can put a little bit more. A little bit more. And here is the... Oops. Your shrimps, shrimps. calamari. Okay. Let's do and this. And scallops. And okay. you're going to have to season some, it. You want me to season it first. Okay. Let me put this here. Let me get real familiar with this. So I want to season that. I did that. Okay, now what? Now, the next thing, okay, you can do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to put these in there. Ooh, wow. Oops. Now, so tell us what this is. This is this is calamari, right? Yes. Calamari. Am Shrimp I doing this right? And, and scallop. Okay, now what? Here, let's do this. And since you don't use garlic, Right. That's the next thing I will do right now. Right. Okay, so I'm not using garlic on this at all. No, not at all. Okay. So now that what? you can put your chili flakes, a the little chili pinch flakes. of little. Okay, hold on. A little bit of chili flakes Let's in there. On. Oh, this looks good. Just put them off. Okay, we got that. Then what? Okay. okay. You're gonna put a drop of lemon. lemon. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Okay. This is simple. 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 Then simple. you're gonna use a dry wine. A dry wine. Just a little touch. Whoa, that's gorgeous. Oh, you've got me so hungry already. Okay, now what? Then you're gonna use black beans. Black beans. Half a cup of black beans. Half a cup of black beans. And you can get those already in the store. Anywhere. And where that? Pinto bean. 
Okay, pinto beans, great. Right? Yes. And then what? You're gonna use your vegetables. Vegetables, and you've got squash and carrots in there. Oh, this yes, is beautiful. Yes, with with peppers. Okay. Then what? Then you're gonna throw your rice. And what kind of rice is this that? This is saffron rice. Saffron rice. That makes a big difference, doesn't it? It does. It does. It gives a really good flavor. Ooh, that looks good. And you prepared that rice ahead of time or not? Yes, we did okay. ahead of time. We did that ahead um, of time. Okay, now what? Then you're going to use Marzano. We make our own Marzano okay. from scratch. And that's M-A-R-Z-A-N-O. So okay, we use like beautiful. half a cup of Marzano. Okay. Put that in there. And then what? Then you're going to put your chicken stock. Ooh, that's beautiful. I make my own chicken stock, by the way. It's just like two cups. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, and then what? And then your muscles? You gonna, your muscles, you're going to leave it in the end because they only take like two, two seconds. Yeah, two, two minutes. To okay, be so ready. Now what else are we going to do? We're going to cover gonna it. We're going to put now. your cover. Now, this is the secret to doing this well is to cover it. So it steams, right, Jose? Yes. So how long do you keep that? How do you how long do you steam that for? I steam it for about uh, six minutes. Six minutes. And then I'm gonna put my clams and mussels and right. put them in the oven. Right. For about two or three more minutes. Okay. And you have a paella in ten minutes. You have a ta paella in ten minutes, which usually takes you twenty-five to forty-five minutes, kids. So you can make this at home for your friends. Gee whiz, we did this all in an hour's time. All these different dishes. I'm so excited. This was so easy, right? So we're going to put this in the oven now, right? We're going to put those on there, and then we're going to put that in the oven. Can we do that? We can do that. Okay, uh, with the magic of television. Go right ahead. See, it's boiling all around. Right. So you, what you want is just stir it. Stir it. So. Okay. And you're going to have right. a pay in 10 minutes. In a few minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. And we're going to take a break for a minute, and we're going to be right back, and we will then put it in the oven, and we'll be done. Right? Yes. Okay. We'll be right back on the Chef You and I. We're back on the Chef You and I, and you just put in the what? The clams? The clams. All right. Now, what are you going to put the mussels the in? The mussels in. Okay. So do that. All right. And they're not open yet, so you'll see them in a few seconds opening. Oh, wow. Look at how fast they opened. They do. Wow, cool. This thing works amazing okay, for this. Okay, now what we're going to do is put it in the oven, right? Yes, you leave them in there for about three or four minutes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, when you see that they open more, right. is when you're ready right. to go. And, and here's the cool thing about this, Jose. The lid and everything can be put in the oven and it doesn't melt because it is, I think, yes, are an aluminum. Aluminum. And so, and it doesn't get like really hot to burn you that's on the handle that's and what i handle, love about that's, that's really you still good. need to you still need to come out with it really easily you don't yes. want to hold it really close to the the pan, pan right yeah you, you don't want to get too close right um like because in home spill. i recommend to, they use something yes to uh, bring it out of the oven yes right. i mean okay. when you're working on the stuff and home always be okay. yeah but you need to have a hand thing when you're when you're getting yes, it out I, of the oven. myself uh you're so used to it. I already know the pants on one day of experience, right. and right. if I got them over here, I don't, I don't need don't them anymore. Change. Okay, that's right. Okay, so we're going to give it three, it's about three minutes, right? Three or four minutes. Three or four minutes. We're going to take it out of the oven, and we're going to plate it, and uh, we're going to serve everything, right? Yes. yes. And so we'll take a break, and on that note, we'll be right back. We're back on the Chef You and I, and they're allowing me to plate it, right? This is the paella. And so we're going to take it out of the oven, Jose. Yes, that's right? what we're going to do right now. Go right ahead. Yeah. How you see, it's been already 10 minutes. Right. Okay. And you, because you don't want to scratch the pan, right? You got to be very you gentle. You got to be careful. Very gentle. Right? Right? Yes. And I'm being very, very gentle here. Sorry. That's all right. I can get these ones uh, out. You get those for me. Oh, this looks so delicious. I love the beans and the rice. It's so pretty. Really pretty. I have to get one of those shrimp, right? And now this would serve how many? Maybe two? I would say like three okay. people. And then let me have this because we always do this to make it look really good, right? So there's no juice or anything. And see how pretty that is? Wait a minute. Okay, now what else are we going to do? We're going to put a garnish it. 
Frank. Make a little design with your Frank. muscles. Frank. A little parsley. Wait, oh, is that beautiful or what? And then we got a little. We're gonna have a little lemon with it. A little. Beautiful. Little and it's John. Isn't that gorgeous? That's paella in 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be right back on The Chef, you and I. And we're going to sit down with the food and the wine. And we're going to pair it. We'll be right back on The Chef, you and I. Thank you, Jose. You're welcome. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you. All right. The odds of a child becoming a professional golfer? One in 140,000. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism? One in 150. You know the odds of autism. Now learn the signs. Go to AutismSpeaks.org. We're back on this chef, you and I. With the owner, of course, Nick. And your last name? Domonico. Domonico, like the steak. No? Kind of. Kind There's of? There's no L on there, so. There's no L, so it's Delmonico? Delmonico is the steak. Domonico is my name. Okay. All right, we got it. And you know, what you, what I love about, you, you hit a butcher shop first, yes, right? Yes, for 30 years. And then years. for 30 years, and then when did this brilliant idea hit you? Well, as I was going to visit my, uh, in-laws right. in Spain. It right. just, so your uh, wife is Spanish. Well, she's German. German? A lot of Germans live on the coast. Oh, that's right. Where we would go is near Alicante, oh, in between Alicante. Valencia and Alicante, right, right. where they make a lot of paella like we, right. that we did we today. Made, yeah. Okay. So I had the idea through my passion and love for Spain. Right. Even though I'm Italian, it's to me it was like oh, Italy too. So it's, wow. So it's kind of the blending of the cultures yeah. and the love, because, you know, Italians are lovers and so are the Spaniards, right? Tell my wife that. No, tell your wife that. Oh, well. Okay, so what we did today was we did the grilled vegetables on the Volari pan that gave it all those wonderful, you know, beautiful colors, right? Yeah. Now, what wine are we pairing it with? Today I have a uh, Rioja white, which okay. is a blend of uh, Verdejo and Viora. Okay. And, uh, the wine, I think, goes great with the roasted vegetables with the aioli. Right. Because it's a, it's kind of a creamy style on the finish. It's a bigger right. style for a right. white. Right. And uh, it's got a nice hint of citrus, so it's sort of like a Sauvignon Blanc right. with a little more body to the right. wine. And it's, what's the name of it? Mario Blanco. Is Mario the, Blanco. So the white, yeah. Okay. So that's the first wine. Yeah, Rioja is now, the area. Now here was the beautiful shrimp with cream sauce. Yeah. Now what are you going to serve it with? Well, this today? is our most popular dish in the restaurant. Okay. And for me, a cava is the wine to to do with the shrimp. Right. Cava is a is a, is a, a a varietal of three grapes from right. uh, the Penedes of Spain, right. which is a little south of Barcelona. Okay. Slightly sparkling wine, nice mm -hmm. and dry, right. hints of apple, uh, yeah. pear maybe, it depends Very on the style. Fruity. Kind of fruity. Yeah. yeah, but not too but fruity. But dry. Yeah, fruity. it's more, right. yeah, it's a, it's like a bridge between a champagne and Prosecco. Prosecco right. would be more right. fruit driven. Right. Champagne be a little more uh, tannic or bigger wine than right. the cava. That's right. Okay. okay, now the next, the piece de resistance, the steak. Now let's talk about the, the steak and the pepper. This is, this the, is the a keel. pepper. Yeah, that's actually like a pimento. Right. This is the full size of the pepper. It's right. Spanish, piquillo. Right. Okay. And inside is the tortilla cheese, which is a cow's milk, a softer right. cheese, easy right. to melt down. Right. The steak is our filet, no fat on there, very tender. Right. And it's a very popular dish also. Right. I got two wines from the same group, the Mario okay. uh, Winery in Rioja. We right. just I got her wines out here because she was just happened to be in my store two weeks ago. Oh, really? And we did a big wine th oh, event that's beautiful. with her. So, yeah. And uh, the difference here is I have a Crianza uh -huh. and a Reserva. Okay. Crianza is a, a wine in the Rioja that is aged for one year in the wood. 
right. in one year or more in the bottle. Okay. So what you get on this this bottle is a more fruit driven, softer wine. Right. As opposed to the Rioja Reserva, mm -hmm. which is a age for two years and three or more years in the bottle. Right. A little more developed wine, a little deeper wine. Right. But due to the aging, it's a very subtle and smooth wine, and they would both go good with the lean steak and the oh, pepper and that's cheese. That's beautiful. Now let's talk about the barbecued ribs. Oh, yeah. my goodness. All right. Talk about that. All right. This is our ribs, and I got another wine from the same group, Mario. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Now this is JME, named after the winemaker, his okay. initials. His initials. Now why I picked this wine because right. this is a more like a new world style. Okay. As what do you a, mean by a new world style? Well, like these you would say are more old world style. Yes. Like this is traditional. Heavier. Well, the traditional style of a Crianza or a Reserva. Right, right. This wine has got a more fruit base to it, Ooh. a little spice. Right. So to me, if I'm telling somebody about it that really doesn't know it, I would say it's sort of like a Cabernet uh, Zinfandel kind right. of mix. Right. You get that that spicy ripe fruit of a zin right, and right. the depth of a cabernet and that would go great with the uh the ribs. ribs yeah that's a perfect wine with barbecue yeah. okay let's talk about my favorite the paella okay, okay. so we got our seafood paella valencian right. style right now i mean really anywhere on the coast of spain they make their seafood paella right so the wine we have is from galicia Ooh, which is in galicia. the other part right. of spain right on the ocean also right. so they make great paella there too uh this wine what's the uniqueness about it is it's near the ocean where they grow the grape the grape right. is called albarino uh -huh. and the sea salt from the the mist of the ocean permeates into the skin and you get right. like a sense of a brininess to it which is right. perfect with seafood right. now so. here's the thing the most wonderful thing about this restaurant and this butcher shop and this winery and everything that you do is that people can have the feeling of spain the music of Spain, everything of Spain, right here in Chicago, right? In Cary, Illinois, yep. right? Yes. You're bringing it to them. You're educating them in how to cook it, how to eat it, how to feel it. That's the reason why Hemingway loved Spain, <laughs> right? And we want to thank, uh, we want to welcome uh, Mr. McHenry to come back in here because we want to thank him for joining us, bringing us to, to um the wonderful Tapas Calpe yeah. uh, restaurant today. And we'll have all his cookware on right. sale in the restaurant right. and the butcher shop. So. Which it'll be simple for people that are residents of Chicago or if they're tourists, they can come here and have dinner yeah. and they can also be able to purchase something and take it back with them, right? Yes. Which is really important. Before we end, Nick, um, I want to taste the Rio. Can I? Yes. So. Let's all Salute. toast okay. and, oh, that has such a be beautiful bouquet. So we need to actually say goodbye because we've run out of time. Oh, okay? Boy, yes. All right, I want to thank both thank of you. Thank you, Catherine. Thank Thanks, you, Catherine. Bill. Thank and you thank Bill. Thanks, Bill. Thank you, And thank it. you, Widgeteer, for bringing us to Chicago to do this. And bon appetit, everyone. Go Cheers. find their all of their products. Uh, would you give that out for me, Valera? Widgeteerinc.com for Valera. Okay. okay. Tapascalpeofcary.com. All right, and you can see them on Facebook, too. Yeah. And don't forget to go to our website to see this show and to see the recipes and how we prepared everything on www.thatisthechefyouandi.com or go to our Catherine Raker, K-A-T-H-R-Y-N-R-A-A-K-E-R.com. So, bon appetit to all of you, and thank you so very much for this wonderful tapas. Thank you. And we'll see you next time on The Chef, You and I. Thanks for joining us on The Chef, You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show. 